Welcome back, Random TV Review. It's your girl, and And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, coming in with this week's Queen Sugar. Hey. I no longer imagine. Listen, Noah has worn me smooth out. <clears throat> I don't know about the rest of y'all, and I don't know where we're going to go from here, but all I can tell you is the family is forever broken. Like, what has happened they can repair, but there is no it's coming not, back from it's this. It's going to be never forgotten. And it should not be. It's always going to probably come up at the cookout. Because of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And you don't spoke. But we're going to get into it. We're we not going to talk about everything. But we're going to hit on some stuff, as Mike B would say, and then we're yeah, going to move on. Exactly. But first of all, I'd like to uh, thank you all for wishing us a happy anniversary. Yeah. If you all are not following us on Instagram, you should be, because that's where y'all be getting the plug at. But yes, on Saturday, we celebrated 17 years of marriage, and we're only 25. Hey. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so, <laughs> so from last week, you know, Charlie said that she had a plan, right? She was going to have this plan that she was going to stop the book legally, like cease and desist, boom, mm -hmm. you cut off. Well, she told Ra, don't go, don't read nothing, don't talk to no, don't do skit until but, I get with that you. That was just like telling him to go ahead and read. You know, she knew Ra wasn't about to listen to her. What Ra do? Read the, the book, book, got pissed off, and went smooth. Over to Nova's house. Yep. And Nova was like, okay, so I assume that you read the book. <laughs> Why else is he there, Miss Genius? <laughs> um, so then she says, Did you read the entire book? Well, you know, ain't nobody oh, read the entire read that book thing already. Overnight. Yeah you, just, yeah, you just gave it to him. Which does make me think for her to say that what's in the book that she felt like she could wrap this thing up in a cute little bow and smooth it over with the family. Yeah. Like I know that she's trying to use this as a think piece as something that she can help other people change their lives and stuff like that. So so what did you do to bring this thing around full circle? That's what I want to know. But even if it come full circle, it still wasn't her truth to tell. Exactly. Yeah. So but in her mind, I'm trying to figure out what did she say to make her think that at the end of the book, when it said the end, that her and her family was going to go to the cookout that next week and have a good old time. Yeah, and I like it never even happened. So I don't know, but Ralph Asia told her in so many words, listen, you have forever changed our relationship. When I went through my skit with Dala and we found out that Blue wasn't my biological son, you were there. Yep. You were there. And I thought you were there as my big sister. But you were really there collecting the information, information for your goddamn book. Store. Yep. And even if it if that's not that's, true, that's not true. But that's, that's how the, it feels. That's the picture that you painted because you use that information that I share with you in confidence, and you don't put it out to the yeah, world. Yeah, that's like if you get sick and you call on your best friend and they come to the hospital, and of course you know when you're in the hospital, some of your information is being out because I don't been in the hospital with mm -hmm. folks, some folk, and I'm like, uh, da, 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 I'm not supposed to hear that. Yeah. But you will never hear that again from yeah. me. It's like you're being exposed to the most delicate pieces of a person's mm -hmm. um, being. And then you go out there and you just... No! Some some secrets and information should never ever be revealed. Unless it's through the person. Through the person. Especially if a person... Well, they never told her that she could not. But she knew she couldn't because she didn't go to them first. So that information should have never, ever, ever. And she talking about some. I shared the information because it was public. That don't mean no, no, nah, no. It, 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 public information still has to be sought out. It's a lot of public information here in, in Richmond. It's about people that I don't know unless I go looking for it. That's but just it, like I'm about to bring up something that's real true. Oh, and tell me if I don't went too far. Well, ain't no lead because because this is I'm not cutting any of this. There's a person on I got doing job. Now, there's a few people when I chopped them this was skit. Hmm. And they ended up in the in the gotcha paper. It's public information. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Yeah. A lot of us saw the gotcha paper. We was like, oh, that's bucked up. Okay. We're carrying on like it ain't nothing to it. But if I take the gotcha paper uh -huh. to the job and I start revealing and showing it and putting it on people's desks that had not seen the information, mm -hmm. now it's personal. Exactly. Now you out here doing the most with the least. Exactly. And now I'm happened. revealing, quote unquote, not a secret. Public information. Yeah. Not a secret, but you. But a secret. But you don't have malice. You got malice in your heart. Yeah. From somewhere. So that's what Rob was like, what is this? 
You my big sister. I'm your little brother. Basically, where is the protection in that's this? That's why I said you didn't think about protecting me. Yeah, because that's what Rob was like. You know, this is not somebody. I'm your brother. You did this to your brother. You did this kid to me. Yeah. I let the family in the house of the family bump my guy. Yeah, so bad enough, you know, I found out that Blue wasn't my biological son. And now you don't put that out to the world. But she also painted a picture like he was some weak dude. You know, to always get into trouble. I mean, yeah, he get in trouble. But he trying to turn his life around. He doing dang yeah, good he if doing, you ask me. Yeah, he doing real good. And here you go. With the bull skip. Like the Bible say, uh, 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 Lord, I'm losing my train of thought now. It's all right. But when we're, I, we're when I do good, evil is always present. Yes, God darn it. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this, this is when I wanted to slap the dog skip out of Nova. I mean, slap her with... She gonna right. tell him, so when are you going to tell Blue that he isn't your biological son? Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. That's what he lost. That's what he threw the book. He said, that's my god darn job to tell him that. Exactly. But I want, yeah. But at the same time, if, you know, I don't think Blue will pick up the book. But at some point in life. He's going to know this. He going to know. And, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be even worse if he find out in Noah's, in, in Noah's book. And see, that's what Ralph Angel was like. He was like, my son has to go to school. Yeah. There are going to be people that's going to read this book mm -hmm. and that information is going to filter down to my child yep. because you look, children them, them can kids be are scandalous, man. Kids are scandalous because their parents scandalous. Yep. And they'll be sitting around talking and the kid be over there ear hustling uh -huh. and be like, that's not blue dad. Oh, that's why he like like that. His daddy brown like that. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. It, it's going to be a and whole conversation. Be yep. That blue is going to be like, so pops, you not my pop. Then she talking about, so you know what? We can go and sit down and talk to him together. Fuck you! <laughs> Ralph was like, boo, skip. She said, matter of fact, you can't ever see my son like that again. I said, I said oh, don't even come around my son. I said, that hurt me. Yeah. <laughs> like, man. But can you blame him though? Yeah. So at the end of that little scene, right? So Nova has this, um... I guess she's doing uh, photography and all this stuff and getting all this, the media out the way for the book and whatnot. And the lady walks in and she was like, oh, superstar. And then she saw Ralph Angel and she was like, the, the Ralph Angel? He was like, you know what, superstar? I got to go. Mm -hmm. But before then, he had took the picture of um, Charlie and Nova and slung it across the room, broke up the, <laughs> the nice little frame. It wasn't, it wasn't a nice frame. But mm -hmm. broke up the frame and everything. So I said, Lord have mercy. So now, Charlie has come to the realization that, okay, so now you don't have a conversation on where Nova, when I told you, I took and told you to stop being hard-headed and hot-headed and wait for me to do what I need to do. Because basically, she said, listen, I was trying to do a drug bust, and you don't sit there and form it over there to, to whistleblow, and now I can't make the drug bust. The element of surprise is gone. Mm -hmm. So what I tried to do, you just fucked it up. And he was like, so, you know, he and his feelings, I get it. Yeah. So he was like, so what you trying to say, Charlie? What yeah. you trying to say? I keep bucking up everything like, like she said in the book. Uh, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much, but not that way. You but I understand, though. But I understand. Yeah, now I he understand. just says it about anything you say. <laughs> <laughs> but I got what he was saying. I got what he was mm. saying. So the three um, is, is Charlie, it's Ralph Angel, and it's Hollywood at the diner. And they're, they're really conversing about this book and trying to get a game plan. And now everybody has read... Hide it from his vibe. Yeah, and everybody has read a different chapter. So, and this wench did. Because I was listening to other people's reviews after we did ours last week. She did write every... She named every chapter after the people that she was talking about. So that's how they got to the so chapter that's how they, they got to it so fast. So that's how they got to the information that they needed. So now they're comparing notes. And Hollywood was like... Not only did she put you and Blue business out there, but she put the, the business out there about how I found Dollar that night that I found her. And mm -hmm. I didn't never want nobody to find Father, out that information. Yeah. That's going to hurt Blue. That's his mom. Yeah. Yep. I'm like, God, don't. So Hollywood was like, not only did she, she do that, like she has hit on some stuff that I, 
we try to figure out how to get this away from Vibe, but we know that Vibe got to figure this yeah, out. Yeah, Vibe, yeah. You ain't gonna hide nothing from her. She and always, she know it. She always, matter of fact, she walked up on it when they were talking to us. Oh, we talking about this bully at school that's messing with Blitz. She was like, uh huh. Okay. She walked away like she took it, but I said, nah, she ain't take that bullshit. Yeah, she later gonna, on, yeah. She gonna wait till she get, <laughs> get Hollywood, a Hollywood <laughs> by herself. <laughs> and be like, oh, okay. Uh huh. So, what about that story? And later on, she ended up doing so, like, just skipping ahead because she was looking for him to help her out in the diner, but he was out there <laughs> eye hustling the book and trying to figure out what's what, and he threw the book somewhere, and she found it. And she was like, so, this is what y'all been over there talking about and trying to keep from me, huh? And he was like, yeah. She said, so she really did sit there and write all about her daddy's dirty little secrets in this book. Hollywood oh, said... And not only Ernest, uh, you do. You, you and you and this book too. Well, wait, there's more. You need to read that book, she, by she got me wondering if 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 I'm in the goddamn book. I'm probably in the book. <laughs> At this point, she probably wrote all about all, my all in, the in the book. About that time, I had to go to the hospital because I smoked too much. <laughs> It's probably in the book. It's probably in the book. It's public knowledge because I've told y'all about oh. it before. <laughs> but yeah. She was probably one of the nurses. That's HIPAA law. But I was sitting here like, oh my God. I mean, mm, I, I, I still don't know where we're going with this. But moving forward, we have Micah. Micah is back. He did a European tour. Brand new look. Brent came back with his starter locks. Come at this. So he got, got his little shadow beard working on Yeah. Up. I don't know if he's trying to get it thick like mine, but uh, yeah, he, come on through with it, man. He, he coming for you, Stanley. He coming for you. Uh, come on with it, man. And he has this whole, like, his presence is just different. Like, like don't like fuck it. with me, man. Yeah, That's I like it, now. but it's dangerous at the same time. Well, um, China is looking at him like, it's, where's my where's my son? Where's my baby? You take him back and bring me back my regular son. <laughs> because this right here, I'm, I'm, this woke, yeah, this yeah. woke Michael, I wasn't ready for that to pop up off the plane. I just wasn't. She said, you know, I'm you I'm used to having the high top fade, this, that, and third. And she said, you know, that's what I'm comfortable with. And basically, if that keeps you under the radar of being the stereotypical black man, I'm cool with it. Mm-hmm. So, but Michael's not. Michael is, Michael is ready to do his thug thizzle, and I'm not mad at it. But like we said, seasons ago, you got to be trained and brought up by some strong leaders that's going to teach you how to do this thing properly mm -hmm. to stay your butt out of trouble. Because, Michael, you already have been in some skit. Yeah. Already. So, you're already in the system. Like the old folks say, you're already in the system. So. And the people knows your name. And they're waiting on you to come back. So... Him and Kiki are still together. I'm afraid that that's not going to last long because Kiki is not a problematic girl. Mm -hmm. Kiki is all about doing her thing, having fun, and loving who she loves. But Micah ended up getting into an altercation with a guy, and I see how it happens. I don't blame Micah for it because on the other end of the spectrum, I probably would have decked him a few too. Yeah, but yeah, the guy was talking time. about his hair. Thomas said, "Oh, you back from vacation? I guess you saw um, Black Panther, or you know, making Wakanda yeah. references and stuff like that about his hair and whatnot." And I'm like, "Oh, too, too far, yeah. too far." And Michael was like, it. "What you say?" Now he was giving the guy a chance. You know when we say what you say? Yeah, we're giving you a chance to take that back, to clean it up, to clean like, it up, I joke it off, do yeah, something. I was just joking, bro. Like, no, <laughs> dude, dude stood in the skit. Okay, I can admire that. But then you got your tail. What? Yep. What? I can't see Kiki staying around for this. I really don't. She's she's just not problematic. Mm -hmm. She's one of the ones. She loves you. But if you're going to keep on bringing drama into my life, I live a peaceful life. Mm -hmm. This ain't what I signed up for. Love you, but love you from over there. Well, we'll see. So speaking of Micah. Michael has gone over to Anova's house, right? So Michael has no idea of any other skit that's going down right now. And no. y'all do know that Michael kind of has a great regard for Nova, what she thinks, what she says, and the direction of things that she is going on, what was going on in her life, in reference to kind of how he wants his life to go. So he really uses her as like a guide. Yeah. Of how he wants to pursue this 
being woke thing, right? That's cool. But why does she give him a book? Yeah. And, right. uh, the hard copy. Yeah. The signed hard copy. Knowing that you put some information in there about his mama and his daddy that he do not know. That they have not sat down and told him. I said, when is Charlie going to get to Nova? I swear to God. I, I thought when she got to it that she was going to just straight up just walk up to her and just choke her. She should have. Yeah, man. So in the meantime, in between time, Charlie is talking to Romero. And she's like, you know, she's having a hard time with everything. Nova is blowing her phone up. And Romero was like, you know, what's the deal? Why don't you answer the phone or whatnot? And she was like, mm-mm. Hey, because what talk. I'm not going to do... I ain't ready to talk to that halfway yet. Yeah, and I'm not going to do things on her terms. I will talk to her when I'm good and ready to talk to her. But right now, is not it. And she went to go grab some more of that wine. Romero was like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Baby, you have had a god no enough. <laughs> <laughs> and just let it be. And he told, he told her... What he told her made sense to me. Yeah, it made a whole lot of sense. Yeah. But I get what, what Charlie's trying to do. It's like, I'm just trying to go ahead and stop it. But mm -hmm. Romero was like, if you pursue this thing legally and you prompt the brakes on this book, mm -hmm. you're bringing more attention to the book. Yeah. People is going to want to know what's in that book that you they, don't want that to you don't just, out. Yeah, you don't want to cease and desist on a book. So what's yeah. in there? So then everybody's going to want to get that leaked copy of that book mm -hmm. to see what it is that you didn't want the world to know. So said, that's a good guy. Yeah. Point. So he was like, just let it come out and let it and deal just deal with it and just deal, deal with it. As it deal comes. with your sister. I said, mm. but she I mean, yeah, it's easier said than done. It is. She just dealt with betrayal from her husband. Now you dealing with betrayal from your own blood, man. Just, just like let's go ahead and without break. without any regards. I mean, without nothing. Yeah, it's just almost like like it was cold. Like you know, oh, it is cold. I, I'm just gonna do this thing that I feel like is right, and I don't care who it's gonna hurt. I mean, she said she she said she put her own skit in there in the book too. Because we won the last week that she put her stuff in the goddamn book. But she said she <laughs> she she, she, she sold you know sold illegal weed to two uh two short too sweet too sweet and he got locked up for it. But I, I, that's different. That's your truth. That's your so truth. you can put that out there. You know. I, I don't. I don't. But yeah, that's cold, it's cold blooded. No, it's that's, real. That's cold blooded. That's the only thing that I can say about it. It's, it's cold blooded. I'm gonna say something. I'm trying to thought just went on out the window. It come back to you, man. It will, and if it don't, it'll be fine too. I worked hard today. Yeah. Um, Dollar. Of course, you know, last week she wanted to do a little arrange arranging with her um her parental duties for the weekend so that she can go out on a date. Well. The guy that she's dating is a recovering addict as well. So they're basically talking about where they are in their walk of recovery, mm -hmm. what they can and they can't do. So they're basically having a nice little chit chat over coffee and whatnot. And I, I love to see stuff like that, but this is what I really want to see. In real life situations where you're getting together with your family and your friends, nobody's going to accommodate a coffee break. So sometimes I would love to see how they incorporate the road to recovery or staying on the road of recovery mm -hmm. in a real setting, not a controlled setting, but a real setting where you're making really wise choice, you know, wise choices to keep your sobriety under check. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I know this was a date, so this is different. Yeah. But I would love to see how that actually works. Cause a lot of times they date in controlled, you know, atmospheres, they go into controlled meetings, they go into controlled groups, of going out together so they all can be accountable to each other so that's just my take on it but they they're they're trying to take things a little with dollar yeah he he was like you know can i come on in he she's trying to take things slow he like he said shawty pulled a pass to the side rich game uh-huh i'm here for it um her and ralph ain't still love each other mm -hmm. after all of that buzz get they still love each other but I think they're at a point in the, both of their lives where they realize that you can love somebody and not be with them. They're mm -hmm. bad for you. So I'll love you and I'll take the relationship and we'll build on being Some people just meant to be friends. But, yeah. So I yeah. think that's where they are. Um, Dala did not want to hear about anything going on in Ralph Angel's personal life. And he was like, you know what? I ain't ready to oh, hear that boo skit from you either. You know. So. But I'm like, but you the one to ask though. <laughs> but anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Ralph Angel, you remember last week I told you that I think he's going to have a new love interest this season. 
Well, come to find out, I don't even know if this is going to work, y'all. I don't know. But she's a public defender. She's the people. Yeah, so he froze up. He was like, oh. And she thought that it was like, oh, so you can't take a strong. Like, he was nah, like, I'm fresh out the system, dog. You know, I just dealt, uh, I just dealt with people like you. <laughs> I just got stuff. off paper. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> the ink isn't even dry yet, boo. Yeah. And the reason I don't think it will work is because, not because of them, but because of what she does for a living, if she gets serious with him, that's going to always follow her in the career field. That you're dating an ex-felon. Mm -hmm. You're with an ex-felon. He did this and he did that, which we really still don't really know where Ralph Angel. Did we ever know? We know he robbed that store. That's all we know from the start. But that robbed... wasn't what he got locked up for. That one where he got No, that's right. Cause that's he when was he got out. out. That's right. He was out. Yeah. So, yeah. So we, yeah, y'all remember put in the comments, yeah, yeah cause I can't. It could have been, it could be a long time ago, I don't remember. But, I, but at the same time, all of us are ex something. Yeah, so, so you, so we, you, we don't work for but, the people's now. But yeah, <laughs> so I guess it's a different being ex in the system, being ex out of the system. Yeah, that's like the judge messing with, you know, what they do, don't even worry about it. Yeah, I was getting ready to make a I, I agree to say, <laughs> you, say your president's wife's um, on all over the internet. <laughs> And that's cool. Yeah. But, pres uh, but First Lady Obama had her arms out and she was everything but a child of God. But and we don't see this whole half of coach hmm. all over the internet. But yeah, we're going to see where they, where they go. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that she done went back to the office and, and, and like, um, uh, which car you say, and punched him up. <laughs> That's what old people say. Go get on the pewter and punch this up for me. Punch it up. <laughs> but here's the thing. How how big is this town that they live in for real? Like like let's go ahead and keep it real. A little small town, yeah. Everybody. She don't know about Ralph Angel. She don't know about the guy that took over the daddy's farm. The only black farmer. The only the, the black folk that own the skit. The sister that owned the sugar mill. But you, you don't know him. But you, but you know, we know stuff, but I can't let you know in the beginning <laughs> I know because you're going to think I've been stalking you. <laughs> so as the relationship continues, be like, yeah, you know, you know. You he, don't know the boy alone. Now, now he say something like, yeah, you know, I took all my daddy's phone. She's like, oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, you know, my cousin, sister, brother told me about that. I'm nah. not. This, this town is not this big. <laughs> so. Blue and her daughter gets along real good and they decided that um they went on like this little date around the mall or whatnot. They had a little they got in a massage chair. Ralph Angel had never been in a massage chair. Well, he's never had a massage. Mm -hmm. He was uncomfortable as hell, but it felt so good, but he wouldn't let he's, himself go. He's, she said, just just relax. Just relax. <laughs> I he said, said, I am relaxed. Because you look constipated right about that, baby. <laughs> and they both agreed that they want to continue to do this. But like I said, I don't think it's gonna work. I think that her career is going to put him, put the brakes on a whole lot of skit because of his past. It is not fair, but it's the game that we, that you have to play in corporate America. Um, politics, politics, as um, Forrest Ross would say, it is what it is. Mm. So, <clears throat> get on into this nitty gritty here. Mm. Mm. I bye. Don't read this guy doing book. And she is in a mood. You hear me? Yep. And we saw Aunt Vi had looked like an a ID bracelet from a hospital. And I'm like, did she have a baby that died? A little girl? Is there a little girl? Is this a grown girl hmm. walking around here that belongs to Violet and we don't know? Is it Nova? Like, what the hell is going on here? Hmm. Like, there's so many questions. And then, at the beginning of the episode, there was this guy. They come rolling into town like Jeepers Creepers. Uh-huh. He, he helping people. I mean, just... Helped the woman with her car that was broke down. Stopped by the... Just by, too good to be true. Stopped by the uh, freaking roadside soul food. Got doing walk-up stand and got some ribs. Them ribs was quick. She me. fixed that plate off of quick. He said, I will want... She said... I said, so it's like that? Okay. So for places we go to make us wait four to five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and um, he checked into, it looked like a bed and breakfast. And this whole time he's been making references to coming back into town to check on a friend. That's, a friend that just opened, opened up, up a restaurant. A restaurant. So when he checked into the bed and breakfast, 
the lady was like, you know, what you intend? He said, because I got turned around and I'm looking for this diner. It used to be the old yellow. My friend opened up this. I said, oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know about y'all. Why did I think that Jimmy Dale was dead? I, I thought he was. I thought I that thought, he was yeah. fertilizer by now. Yeah. That's Jimmy Dale. Jimmy Dale is coming back. He coming back into town. For what? Yeah. See, so, I know what it so is. So on by dealing with this book, now she got to deal with him. God. Now, here's my question. Did Jimmy Dale hear about the book? Mm, about the book first and decided I'm going to come into town because you don't told my business. Uh -huh. And now I need to handle you because now the world knows who I am. Because you know them old players like that don't play that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Or did he hear about you coming into some money? Uh -huh. And now you got your own skit. Now I need to come and ruffle up some stuff in your life. Hmm. Which one was it, or is it both? But what all I got to say oh, well, is, all I say is he, he coming. He, he better step correct, cause Hollywood, Hollywood. that had enough. No, already done pissed him off. Jimmy Dale, if you want to stay alive, I better call him Jimmy Dean. <laughs> <laughs> you better come to that down correct. Get you get you some some of them cheeseburgers and french fries and get you a slice of that pie and get, and your get, way get out back of on the highway and go on about your business. Cause Hollywood ain't gonna deal with your boobs get. I can tell you that right now. I said, whoa. As a matter of fact, in that kitchen last week, he wanted to yoke Nova up right there. If what if it wasn't for Aunt Vi and that being her niece, she would have been yoked up. At this point, she's she open it's open season right now. Yeah. Don't nobody right. give a fuck. All right, so the last scene that 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 just took me smooth out. Bop, 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 bop. No, now when do, when when does black people just open the door for people? Without looking to see who it is, she already knew who it is. I got a ring, I got windows, and I can look through my door. I'm doing all of them before I ask somebody. <laughs> you gotta check off your list. You see a checklist? One, two, three. Okay. okay. Somebody let me know. She just opens the door and Charlie come marching in. She said, "All right, I'm ready for you now. I'm ready for you now." <laughs> I said, "Woo, nut if you but eh, nut if what? you but." <laughs> okay. Nova tried to explain this book away to Charlie, oh. and Charlie was like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. "I don't have time to marinate on this." I got stopping points in the book that I want to go over with you. Let's 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 do this thing out of eye face to face. This is what you really think of me? You think that I use the fact that I'm half black and half white and that it's some badge of honor that I have used to coast my way through life. Mm -hmm. Is that what you really think? Think of me. me. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying like my god, darn it. There's a lot going on. But she called her in the book, she called her privileged. You said it about your sister. Um, at some, uh, which I understand. I guess like, where's the lie? Yeah, which yeah, <laughs> which I which I understand. But even even with being privileged, you still got to put in the work to get where you are. So it's almost like we're saying, okay, the only reason why you rose to the success that you had with Davis West and being in that position was because of the color of your skin. But and being now, that gets you in the door. It does. But you but you still gotta put in the work. She put in the work. She pr she proven to us that she that she good at business. She so, came through and got y'all out. Got y'all out, yeah. So you you can't you can't slap that on her. Like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. It's not like she's coasting through life on it. Now let's go ahead and keep it real. All of us, no matter who we are, are privileged in something. Oh yeah. If it's no more than being privileged on your job where you have tenure over the people that just came in the door. Mm -hmm. I know I do. I can go on my job and I pretty much can do it whatever the fuck I want. That's right. I can go, I dress like this every day. Mm -hmm. Everybody else can't do that. I have earned that respect. <clears throat> yeah. I come in and I do what I'm supposed to do. I don't even have to talk to people. And get there, we can get there when we want. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a privilege that I have. That you earned. That I earn. You earn, yeah. Do I take advantage of it? No. Mm -hmm. But I well, do. Well, we need to, we do. <laughs> and that's the point that I was you, about to make. Need to. That's the point that I'm yeah. about to make. There are some things that we all have. 
yeah. that are a privilege and they're and they are door openers for us. You will be a motherfucking fool if you don't take it. And that's what she and, and, and that's what Charlie was trying to tell her in so many yeah. words. Basically, what you're deeming right now as my era in life, save John Hompas is out here. Exactly. And like we said, she's using it now with the Landris. That's what I'm in. saying. It's saving it, your yeah, heart. She using out that here. Yeah, she's using it when she needs to. Because let's go ahead and call a spade a spade. They're not going to talk to y'all at the table. No. Nah. Because y'all don't resemble them. Resemble yep. them. Yep. Charlie, very close. Yeah. Oh, she's still black. They, yeah. They don't. They still don't accept her as being black. But they'll let her at the table because she's lighter. Yeah. Yeah. So... You, Charlie. Yeah. Okay. We'll talk to Charlie. It's the game. So all in all, Charlie was like, no, but you hate me. Just, I mean, just let's yeah, go ahead just, and yeah. let's, let's duke it out verbally. You <laughs> hate me. But for what? Yeah. You hate me for something that I didn't ask for. You hate me because my white mama got with your black daddy. I had nothing to do with that. Nothing. Where is the sisterhood in any of this? And like she said, she go back to this public knowledge stuff. She was like, but what about me being your, your sister? sister? Yeah. Come on here. I expect for, you know, the Landry or somebody like that to do that bow skin. And I then do. she was like, what about my son? My son is going to read this and he's going to forever hate me. Mm -hmm. He's going to forever. This is going to change our relationship once he gets a hold of this. You wrote stuff about his father, me. Talking about rape culture and all of this stuff. And I'm like, no, what the hell? Yeah. At the end of it, there was no resolve to this. Nah, not Nova, at all. Nova was trying to explain her stuff away. And you cannot explain this away. Nah. I do want to know what's, that, what, what's the wrap up of this book. Because she keeps saying it's the, all going to make sense. The only thing I can say that she can do, and, uh, and I'm getting right. ready to close, is you just need to apologize and say you bucked up to your family. And deal with the consequences that come along with it. But don't but don't keep on trying to explain away their secrets that they didn't want you to put out there. That only makes it worse. And here's the thing. Remember that picture? That picture that Ralph Angel already broke the frame to? That she took, cleaned it up, and put the picture right back up. That she propped it up. You know how your grandma do when she went to the Dollar Journal and got a frame yet? Yeah. She propped <laughs> it up. Or she put your picture to the front and there's like 15 pictures behind that one in the frame. <laughs> she hadn't had time to do that yet. Right, um, Charlie looked over there at that same picture that was out there just naked and she realized that it was her and Nova and their relationship is gone and she took the picture and ripped it in half and basically a big buck you yeah I'm done because that's what Nova did to y'all a big buck you yep. and she didn't care nothing about y'all fellas nope. and I don't care nothing about hers so y'all let me know what y'all think. What, yeah. what resolve? Well, first of all, what do y'all think is in the end of this book? What What do y'all think could could actually bring uh, this together for no uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Holla.